More fallout from a controversial claim by a Chinese scientist. China has now launched investigations into He Jianhui. He claims to have created the world's first genetically altered babies. CGTN's James Chow joins us live from Hong Kong. James, tell us more about how the Chinese government is reacting. Well, Elaine, it's just been a couple of days, but overnight, Xu Nanping, the Vice Minister of Science and Technology, called He's work a blatant, blatant violation of Chinese laws and regulations. He says it also violates the bottom ethical line, and he described it as both shocking and unacceptable. I think it's an embarrassment to China's scientific and academic communities that in the past couple of years in particular has been doing so much good work, and in 2015 produced its first Chinese Nobel Prize winner, Tu Youyou, who won for her work on tropical medicine that's helped save millions of lives in places like Latin America and South Asia. So what we're going to see here is a degree of soul searching. I think it's already begun. I mean, who is he for a start? He's based over in Shenzhen, but he studied over at Rice and Stanford universities. He's been described, his genius, his alleged genius, has been compared to Albert Einstein and Elon Musk. And I think what we're seeing here are, are an effort, both by the media and the people around him, to oversimplify what is obviously a very complex issue and character, a person who's very ambitious, who's also uh, a great self-promoter. At the end of the day, what he is is a rogue scientist who has deliberately carried out his work in secret and ultimately manipulated the parents of these newborn girls who, if they have children of their own, will go on to pass an edited set of genes themselves. James, what about reaction outside China among the global scientific community? Well, I've been speaking to Professor Sharon Lewin, who is the director of the Doty Institute in Melbourne, and who's also leading the search for an AIDS cure. She says there are plenty of ways to prevent HIV, safe sex, education, PrEP. There are plenty of ways to treat HIV. You certainly don't need to edit the receptor or mutate the receptor uh, in order to protect these children from the HIV virus or the lifetime of stigma uh, that uh, we know obviously people with living with HIV face. You don't need to edit people's genes in order to do that. More importantly, moving forward, she says if the father was on treatment, there is zero chance he could have transmitted HIV to the mother. And we all know that if the viral load was undetectable, he couldn't have transmitted it sexually. Uh, Professor Lewis says that gene editing in embryos is a scientific advance that society now needs to think very carefully through and also in the appropriate settings. My own thoughts of this is that uh, Professor He, who has painted himself as a, a noble person without whom these girls would now be born with HIV, he's not that at all. Uh, he's thrown the doors open for other scientists to follow his unethical example. And this is not a breakthrough. This is the work of one man who self-funded his own research without any peer review and without the permission of his own university. He's now trying to put a spin on this very unethical episode. And Elaine, with World AIDS Day coming up in 24 hours' time, his work, ironically, is a reminder that stigma and discrimination for people living with HIV is, unfortunately, very much alive and well. Our very own James Chow, live for us in Hong Kong. Thank you for all of that. Shi Chen is an assistant professor of public health at Yale University. He told me about the possible consequences for those twin girls as well as the scientific world. It's irresponsible to the individuals because we, we don't know how that f would affect those two baby girls because this uh, technology has not been uh, mature enough to make sure there's no damaging off-target effect. And also without a consensus in the society, if we already implement this into certain individuals, how could uh, the, uh, the growing up of those two uh, baby girls uh, being affected by people who are watching very closely to them and affecting their family as well? And I think it's also irresponsible to the whole scientific community. And some countries may use this as an excuse to further tighten uh, the, the more useful scientific research. So that could affect the whole scientific community, especially the, the uh, uh, genome research. And also it may affect the, the whole uh, the society and the economy because we know that in each country, part of the healthcare sector is underground. If there is a high profit of doing this illegally, 
and then that may generate an underground market. Now is the right time to uh, make the regulations stronger and uh, and uh, use uh, uh, making laws and the inform enforcement of laws to regulate the sector.